hello guys welcome to my channel today's tutorial is on a short bob gypsy crochet locks um so for this look i'm gonna start by doing um individual braids with the client's um natural hair before um crocheting the locks into the through the hair so we're gonna do individual locks um like per, um, perimeter and we're gonna crochet the rest of the hair uh, in the middle. So I'm gonna do like a uh, con rolls in the middle and then individual locks um, all over like 360 degrees. So this is my first time um, doing the individual um, lock. So if this is your first time trying it as well, uh, I will suggest you break the hair um, all the way down. That way it's easier for you to um, slide it through the crochet hair, especially if the crochet hair is um, small size, it's not like the medium or large lock. So uh, for this tutorial, I'm using the small size uh, crochet locks. So to make it easier for me to pull it through the hair, I will be braiding it um, all the way down. So that uh, makes it easy for me. So for this tutorial, I'll be using um, the Soft Fast Lock Crochet from Free Dress brand. Um, I use about four packs of this and um, one pack of the Free Dress Beach Coil Hair. That is what gives it the gypsy look. to last long for it not to be dry or itchy I'm um, just moisturizing it with uh, coconut oil um, that way there is no discomfort at the roots and I also um, advise my clients also to always make sure the scalp is moisturized uh, each, uh, each time so it's not um, itchy or dry that is what makes the hair last long so as you can see, you're just going to take your crochet locks and you're just going to um, pull it through um, the individual braids that you did and you just have to make sure it's tight enough and secure, not extremely tight, but tight enough um, to hold it uh, as long as your um, clients want. So I'm going to um, insert the needle in the middle of it and just um, clip in the hair and pull it through the middle of the braid. And as you can see, I'm also making sure that the braid is braided all the way down. That way it makes it easy um, to pull through, especially if you're using a small size um, individual locks. So if you're like me, if this is your first time, I will suggest you start from the back and by the time you get to the middle, you're already get, getting the hang of it. Um, so that way um, it's faster and easier for you to do and figure out the exact um, technique to use um, for the hairstyle so you just pull it through the braid and when you're doing it it may seem like it's looking rough or anything when you're done you just um, straighten it and it looks trust me it looks perfect 
and I will also advise um, you take your time don't rush um, just so your um, just so the hairstyle comes out looking professionally done <laughs> So I'm done with the individual locks. I'm just gonna start crocheting the remaining locks into the middle um, of the con rows. So you're gonna crochet on top of the con rows, not under the um, con row. That prevents, um, that reduces the tension and the pressure from the hair. So that way you're not breaking 
um, your client's hair when they take out the crochet. So that is what um, breaks the hair. When the pressure from the crochet hair um, is underneath the um, cornrows, it's definitely gonna break your hair when you take it out. So you make sure to um, crochet on um, the, you pull the um, string or the needle um, in the middle of the cornrows and you just pull in through the um, the locks, not under the cornrows, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. For this part I'm also gonna make sure to fit in as much hair as I can that is what gives it the um, full um, volume um, look um, you don't want your crochet to look um, scanty and all over the place so in the middle you can make sure to crochet uh, as much hair as you can uh, until you're sure it's uh, full enough mm -hmm. crochet I'm just gonna take my beach curl here and I'm just gonna crochet it into the locks like I said that is what gives it the gypsy look so you're just gonna pull it through and this is very easy so you just pull the hair so I take one piece of hair call it here I separated it into two and I just pull it through the needle and pull it through the locks so that's pretty much it and you just um, look for areas and where you pull you don't have to put it on each and every one so you just uh, put it in um, different places um, in the front on the side in the back um, in the middle just um, all over the place so it's not all in one place and it's not in the other <laughs> Just gonna take your scissors and trim the hands uh, to make sure it's all equal lengths with the uh, curly hair and the locks are all equal length. I'm just gonna take my braid sheen spray and I'm just gonna spray it into the middle, into the roots of the hair to moisturize it. And you can get this at a beauty store or at your local uh, Walmart store. It's really very good. It's soothing for this cap. It prevents itchiness and dry scalp. And I'm just gonna put my oil sheen. And she wanted. Um, she also wanted some um, hair jewelry. So I'm just gonna insert um, the jewelry and we'll show you guys the finished look.
and here is the finished look guys uh, please leave me a comment down below so let me know what you think about this look this is like one of the most um, highly requested hairstyle um, right now I had a lot of clients send this to me and I had so much fun uh, creating this look I thought I would share with you guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up also please subscribe to my channel if you're on instagram and facebook please follow me at so that one too also don't forget to leave me a comment down below i try as much as i can to reply each and every comment um so leave me a comment down below about what you think about this hairstyle and i'll see you in my next video thank you so much for tuning into my channel and stay blessed